My name is David Campbell. Let's go back to 1994. I was living on the streets. Um, we won't go into why or how I got there. And a group of us, I fell into a group. We formed a family and looked out and for each other and cared for each other. And one day as we were sitting around, someone said, weren't those pork chops delicious? And my ears pricked up. And it seemed that St. Paulus, on Wednesdays, had what they called a friendship banquet, which was open, they had two sittings of 35 each, and they were open to homeless people and their friends or people with AIDS. And my friend took me. The tables were set with white tablecloths, there were flowers on the table. As we walked in, the gentleman man, his name was Tom Caltrell, would say, hello, I'm Tom, how are you? And would shake hands. And it was a lovely dinner. Eventually, we learned that Tom was setting up all these tables by himself. So we showed up early one Monday morning, four of us, and what used to take him two hours, we accomplished in 45 minutes. And the cook, whose name was um, Carl Bell, would come out and say, why don't you come in and have some breakfast? So we got to be very intimate with some of the people of the church. Well, they wanted to paint the sanctuary. And they decided that if they hired the poor of us, they could save a great deal of money. And what they offered us, being homeless, was a fortune. And we started to paint the sanctuary, and they said, as long as you're painting, why don't you come down in the basement and live? And they had a room in the basement with a couch, chairs, a television, a shower, and they took us in. And when we finished the painting, they offered us a deal. They said, if we would like to continue living there, if we would do so many hours of work a week, they would pay us $5 an hour. And over, that, over and above that, we would get free room and board. There were some remarkable people in the office at that time. It was an entirely different congregation, an entirely different church, but there were some remarkable people in the office at the time. And they not only gave me a home, they gave me back my self-esteem. So that ever since then, well, and I made no bones about it, I'm not a Christian. Um, I hate labels, there are no labels for people like us. We're still looking, we're religious people without a religion. I made no bone about that. But they took me in so when the fire came, I lost not only a home, but I lost the family that had given me back my own life. And there is no way to express what you feel when you see this magnificent building that means so much to you go up in flames. But the irony of it is, it was a beautiful fire. It was absolutely magnificent. There were ashes all the way to Van Ness. It was an extraordinary fire. And since then, St. Paul has struggled. There have been to several locations. It's not the same congregation. It's hardly the same group of people. There may be four or five of us left from before the fire. But it's still my family. And I've become very close to Daniel, the pastor. And I don't know what else to say except um, by choice, I'm a loner, by choice. And St. Paulus is my family. <laughs>